This video explains how to escape a backslash in a character string using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you a very simplified example and in this example we are using the character string that you can see in the second line of code. So in this line of code I'm creating a character string containing three times the letter A, a backslash and three times the letter B. And then I'm storing this character string in a new data object that I'm calling x1. So if you run line two of the code, you can see that this data object is appearing at the top right. And now we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code using the cat function. However, if you run this line of code, you can see that the output is showing the letter A only two times and the letter B only two times, and it is not showing the backslash that we have specified when we have created this character string object. And the reason for that is that this backslash is a special character. And for that reason, we need to specify if we want to retain this backslash in our character string. And we can do that as you can see in line five of the code. So the only difference here is that I'm using a second backslash to escape our other backslash in our character string. So if you run line five of the code, another character string object is appearing at the top right, which is called x2. And if we now print this data object to the RStudio console, you can see that our output is as expected. So it contains three times the letter A, a backslash and three times the letter B. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.